Are you lost? Uh, thanks, Liz Puff 2006. Cooper broke my ball. When we got married in the backyard, I put new strings in my old guitar. The E was flat, the A it stayed sharp. I had no idea at all how happy it would make small. And how drunk you and I'd get before dark. I don't even know what's going on with this baby's outfit right now. <laughs> it's like every color I know. I feel like this is what Cooper's gonna wear when like we're like, you could pick out your outfit. Those beanies are so cute, oh my gosh. Those pants though. I know, the pants are the best part of the whole outfit. How about the pirate flag? <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're such a funny baby. Yeah, Dada? So our neighbor just ran down the street and he looked like he was like in a panic and we jumped up, we're eating right now, Cooper's eating some chili I just made. Um, sorry, I'm looking. Um, there apparently was a really bad accident down the street and I'm here with Cooper right now and Lex ran down to go help out. She is currently flagging traffic, but apparently it's really bad. I'm gonna let her explain if she sees anything or or anything like that when she gets back. Because I'm at the house and it's probably a couple blocks away, so I can't see anything. I just hear all the sirens and um, what my neighbor said happened. It was two cars and they, they collided, I think, head on. And he said it was bad. You can't see anything here, can you? No. Whoa, guys, that was intense. I really hope that that person is alive. So Dan and I had like looked out the window and we saw our neighbor just like running across the street and we were like uh oh and like Dan and I we just like spring into action when things like that happen. I don't know if you guys know this but when I was five months pregnant with Cooper we were driving home from work and it was like one o'clock at night and we like just stumbled upon this accident on this major highway by us and nobody was there yet. And it was like Dan and I we both jumped out of the car. Dan ended up pulling a guy out of the car. I was like calling the police. Like it was, I was running up the state parkway. Trying to find a mile marker. Trying to find a mile marker at five months pregnant. So back to today, we sprung into action and both of us go to like put our shoes on and run outside and then Clearly both of us were like, Cooper, uh-oh. And I was like, no. So I just bolted. I didn't even give Dan the chance to say anything. I just like bolted out there. Ugh, I don't know, it was bad. The, both of the cars were completely gone. Like just, they're just so, like they were an accordion pretty much, both of them. They yeah, smashed, they smashed, smashed right into each other. Um, one guy, uh, our neighbor was saying that one guy seemed okay. I only saw one of the car. I saw both cars, but really up close I only saw one of the cars and The guy was unconscious. So um, Our neighbor had said that he wasn't when he saw him that he was like trying to breathe through all the like the blood and stuff But and he was like in the passenger side of the, the yeah. car. He, pro he definitely wasn't wearing a seatbelt well, seat Right um, So yeah, he and he definitely hit his face and stuff and Good thing is, is both are still alive, hopefully, at this point. They were when I saw them, at least. Um, and I was just, I wasn't doing anything other than just standing outside and directing traffic because nobody was, like, stopping cars from going down the street, so. Yeah, it must have just happened. Oh, yeah, it did. So, uh, our neighbor had brought out cones for him, and I was just standing there. He had left, but I was just standing there, kind of 
redirecting traffic to turn around and stuff. I came back inside when a police officer came down and um, called a, a unit. He was calling the unit saying that he needed him to come and sit here and direct people away. Like, you slammed on your brakes. Yeah. The whole front of the car is going with that thing. No, we're not even close, but get back in the house. It's really cold. Yeah. Like, absolutely freezing. It's crazy too. It like, like, it was out like, of nowhere. It's hot like during the day, and then like the morning, it's ice cold. Turn the AC on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we had the AC on yesterday driving around. I know, Coop. When we can't see anything. Yeah, hold on. Let's. A quick rolly yeah. rolly. We're like, you really have to roll from here. <laughs> Wrangler life. Yeah, we have crank windows. That was stupid. Yeah, it was. I agree. Why are you all up in my business? Just helping out. I hope it doesn't get foggy. That's the worst when you like start driving. You're like, oh, the window's a little fogged up. Yeah. And you turn the thing on and it just, yeah, it's just like completely <laughs> fogged up. And you can't see anything. And then sun hits it and it like lights up. You're down to like five miles an hour. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you put your hazards on. You're yeah. barely moving. Yeah, right. Cars are just flying around you. It's Penelope's birthday. It's my grandfather's birthday. It's Jack's birthday. Brooklyn's mm -hmm. son. Little Jack. Happy birthday, Jack. Little cutie patootie. What'd you say, Coop? Happy birthday, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> in your own beanie. in your own way. Is it covering his face? Probably. Whoa! Oh. Why is there geese? Or ducks? Those, are, those, those are, are ducks, right? Those are ducks. That's not even. Those aren't like are you are you aware, babe, the, those aren't like natural to earth? Like to, like, to this area. Those aren't like. Oh, remember wild when ducks. I told you I'm like, oh, the ducks. You're like, those are turkeys. No, they're ducks. <laughs> because I was like, there's no way there's ducks. Those are not like. Those are like domesticated ducks. Whose ducks are those? What can you do with ducks? Soup. Don't. We're not gonna kill them. Well, no, you, you use them. Yeah. So where do we put we'll them? Make them uh, friends. Yeah. Do you want to come in a jeep? Ducks aren't allowed to get into cars unless they're invited no, in. They're like vampires. Ask, we'll ask them. Do you do you need a ride? Are you lost? Where do you live? I'll drop you off. I have candy. Do you want to come? We're going to go to jail. <laughs> where? I don't know where that is, though. Is that on the right side of the Taconic or the left side of the Taconic? That one's beak is totally messed up. I don't know if you noticed that. It's missing the front. No, it's not. It's black. No, it's not. See? Oh, yeah. It's missing, it's me. Are you being abused? Are you being used and abused? I don't really know what to do. I kind of have to turn around. Yeah, and I have to go to work. <coughs> Mooches. I love you. Don't get attacked. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Love you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna hit you. You have no fear. Don't worry, I'll just do a 17 point turn, guys. Have a good day. Do you want food? What? He's cranky. You hungry? Okay, hold on. What happened? No food? Why? That's so rude. Like, not only do you throw it, but you throw it at my wall. Good morning, everyone. So, I just dropped off Dan at work. Just gave Cooper some banana to throw on the floor for Mush. <laughs> he does not eat anything that he's supposed to. Cooper, Mush is just eating a bunch of banana right now. Stop it. He's just smiling at me. Um, I need to give this baby some Cheerios. That's like my, my go-to nowadays because that's all he'll literally eat. It drives me crazy. I started watching a new show last night. It's called The Handmaid's Tale. Holy cow, good show. I really like it. I've been kind of looking for something that just kind of is like 
really good but like artsy and like good story and it's definitely just like very very politically charged like you just can tell I feel like I'm watching Avatar right now honestly um it's definitely a one-sided political underlying show if that makes any sense um but it's definitely a really good show regardless um basically what the show is about is their women are not fertile anymore and there's only a select few of women that are fertile and um the elite people who can't have babies they end up having these women called handmaids who basically are just like baby makers but like it's really it's just really good it's a really good show i can't really explain it that well but if you guys are looking for a new show it's a hulu original and it won i think like 13 grammys or emmys or whatever it, which one it is um yeah it's really good though i'm gonna finish giving cooper some breakfast and i'll see you soon i have to go charge my battery This is what I am having for lunch. Um, I've actually definitely been losing weight. I will show you right now. Do, 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 do. So I am officially 154. I think that said 0.8, which actually means that I can cross off this number because I reached it. So that's how I do this. Once I see the number on the scale, that means I have made it to that number. I can finally, finally, finally cross off this line. Woohoo! When I see 149 on the scale, I'm gonna lose my mind. This is the number I would definitely want to get to. This is the number that I wanna see before we start trying to do some TTC moves. So, how exciting is that? So yeah, so this is the salad that I made. It's just like uh, baby spinach, mixed greens, and some onions, some roasted red peppers, a little bit of sliced almond, some a little bit of tomato, salt and pepper, and uh, light on the salt, guys, but a little bit of salt, and some dressing. This is the dressing I've really been liking. It's the Simple Dressed Light Red Wine Italian. There's only like three grams of fat in it, and there's nothing else like super gross in it, so that works. I'm just giving Cooper some yogurt. It's actually lunchtime now, and he's back in his seat, nope, and eating some yogurt. What? <laughs> yeah? Let go, let go. Oh, you are a little ninja. Oh, with your finger, that's fine. I don't mess around, go for it. Just wanted to point out, guys, my new sign <laughs> and what it says. Uh, thanks, LizPuff2006. I snorted and laughed out loud when I read your comment because I absolutely did not give Dan the best piece of chicken cutlet the other day, or the other week, I should say, and we were laughing about it because he knew that I didn't, and so when I saw this, it just made me chuckle. So yeah, so shout out to Liz Puff 2006 If you guys are a little confused right now, so basically I have that board, and if you comment on any of my videos, a really good like uplifting quote or a funny quote, uh, I might select you to go onto the board next. So all you have to do is just comment. Give me, give me a good idea for the board or something funny or something witty or, I don't know, inspirational. Right? No? Cooper's like, stop talking and just give me some yogurt. Uh, guys, today's been one of those days. <sighs> that is why I have not been vlogging. This little boy has been a little terror. Cooper broke my ball. <laughs>